beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalinda what okay guys so this video is all about makeup we're gonna be trying some new makeup because Sephora and my husband got together and decided to kick me out but it's all right because I left the store with some stuff <laughs> I, well, I'm gonna try the new NARS found foundation. Got some Lancome. I got some Fenty. I mean, it's I'm, I'm about to do it, and we're about to do it together. So let's just jump right in. How about that? Right? Okay. So let me tell you. So when it comes to the NARS foundation, my gosh, I've been to Sephora a few times to get it, and I wound up just having to order it because they didn't have it at the store. And just in case you don't know, my biggest frustration when it comes to foundation is this as you can see my chest and my face are clearly two different colors so it makes it very hard to find a foundation because usually I would like to match a foundation to my chest the problem with that is that it looks like it it, a, it will blend in perfectly here but when you take that lighter foundation and you put it on a darker background the foundation can tend to become ashy and look gray. So yeah, I will do a video on exactly how to, if you are having those problems, how to find your perfect shade. I'll do that at another time. So I uh, went there, I matched myself up. I even like, you know, walked around and got some advice from the other laser just to make sure. But we got down to D2. Um, I also got swatches of D2. D3 and D4 however they didn't have D2 so what I did was I order it it will be delivered in a few days however she hooked me up with a huge sample big ups to her so that's what we're gonna go in with um I first went in with my YSL blurring primer I need to do a review on it you guys have been asking so let's see But as of right there, it's kind of, you know, you know, it's all right. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's see. This is definitely more orange than it is red, and there is a huge difference if you don't know. And believe it or not, I would rather be orange than red. Now, I did not color correct because I really wanted to know what, you know, wanted to give it a fair chance to see what it does. And believe it or not, I don't have a problem with a little bit of my imperfections peeking through. You know, I, I, you know, that's just where I'm at in life. I'm really not that ain't all about that. But believe it or not, it's not bad. It's not bad. I do like the finish. Darn it, I did not set my smile lines and it's already creasing. Already. And usually I do set it before I apply my foundation. <sighs> forgot. I forgot. I forgot. My bad, I forgot. This foundation goes for $49. It comes in 33 shades. Okay, it says uh, medium to full coverage. Skin types, sensitive, normal to dry. Um, has a finish of natural. I've been really gravitating towards foundations that tell me that it has more of a natural finish. Not quite matte, matte, not quite luminosity. You know, it's not, but right in that middle. I've been feeling that. It says, what is what is it? A foundation with up to 16 hours of lightweight, natural, fade-resistant wear, featuring full powered radiance to smooth the look of skin. Um, I have to say, I like the way it looks. That's for sure. The color is still growing on me, but... It does leave a really nice fit. Now this is one um, application. I am gonna go back in and spot correct, just to see what it looked like. You know how we do. Another full application. You feel like you're getting what you need, but you just have a few spots. Just find a big fluffy kind of dense brush at the same time, and that should really help you. Believe it or not. Um, I really like the way it looks with just one coverage, one one application. You guys know with the Bobbi Brown, I felt like I had to go in several times to kind of get it to build up the way I like, and that I did not like. So, me just applying one application with this and just spot correcting a little bit, 
I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Not mad at all. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on. Like it. So let's go in and do a little bit of concealing. All is blendable coverage to hide dark circles and imperfections. Eight, no, it says 16 and 18. You know I can't see that. I think that says 18. Correct. I'll put it on the screen if that does not say that. Uh, I think it says 16 hour wear and comfort. No creasing or cakiness. Velvet matte finish. Translucent and sweat proof. I think that's what that says. Look how small that is. Can you see that? No, me neither. Okay. So let's see. I have to set these. Like right now, the one bad thing that this foundation has against, I mean, my parentheses are really like pronounced, like pretty, pretty damn. Pretty extreme actually. Okay, but let's let's go in and do this. So let's, you know, we don't take it all the way up. We take it pretty close. And then we blend upward. Believe it or not, guys, the formula is very thin. It reminds me of like a um, a Fit Me concealer. That's what it kind of gives me. It, it, it's quite. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 All right. Yup. Yeah. Uh-huh. What'd you say? I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I didn't expect that. I'm shook. <laughs> that just shook me a little bit. I don't know why. YSL, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't have a lot of faith in this concealer. I was like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna try it because you guys know I'm a concealer head and I really wanna try this concealer. But man, this concealer is $34. 34, three plus four more dollars. Yes. This concealer only comes in six shades. And I believe that this this color right here is the darkest shade so I don't know what any of my darker sisters are gonna do I don't know if they've been talking to her I'm not sure exactly what's happening here but this is their darkest shade in six it works just because it gives me just it lightens the area just a little bit without being too stark white I'm not gonna lie I'm really freaking digging it um, this is a medium deep golden undertone uh, let's see let's read the details it says full coverage is that full <laughs> yeah it is I'm shocked because it's so light and it's so watery I just you know when you get something like that you really don't I, I guess I automatically put it in my head that was like the fit me and the fit me is quite watery and it's not full coverage so I just assumed that it was gonna be like coverage but you're not you guys know I have a lot of darkness right under here but it just did it. Like, look, look. Okay, coverage full. Skin type sensitive, normal, dry combination. Wow. I did not. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm going with another one. Just, just like a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just come on, come on with me now. Let's just see. Even though I so don't need it. Wow. This just got a while. You guys know, like, usually I don't be liking stuff that's so overhyped. I just don't like it. I always find something wrong with it, but I'm not going to lie. That really just shook me. For the most part, that gave me... Now, okay, now let, let, let's, be, let's be critical. I think I might see, like, a little... Like a look. Like a little bit right there, and I think I might just be reaching. Honestly, it's giving me personally, it's giving me NARS soft matte finish. That's what it's giving me. I think I'm a little spoiled when it comes to the don't when it comes to the applicator. I really like the sharp the sharp the um shape tape applicator because it's so big. The don't feel applicator 
This one is very, very, very small. Gets the job done, but it's almost like if I'm going to use it, I want that big, chunky, thick, ridiculous one. So I'm a little spoiled. I'm a little spoiled, but I'm not going to lie. This formula is just ridiculous. I also did pick up, and I should have tried it today, but I really wanted to see what this NARS was talking about. But I did, tr I did pick up a sample of the YSL All Nighter um, foundation as well. Believe it or not, doesn't have a lot of shades. Not for women of, of color. Now let's keep it real. You know, I know we're going crazy on Tarte, and don't give me, don't give me. I ordered it and then canceled it. That's how serious I am. We can't keep complaining and leaving these long soliloquies under videos and under Instagram posts. We gotta hurt them. If we want a message, we got to hurt them where it counts, and that's in their pocket. So, I ordered it, waited two days, and then canceled it. Because I feel like me just not ordering it goes unnoticed. Me ordering it and then canceling that bad boy, that's on that report. That's on that report after the backslash. I want them to feel that. So, that's why you haven't gotten a video about it. That's why, you know, I'm not going to be ordering it. Well, like I said, I ordered it and canceled it. So I'm not going to try it. I'm not interested. I think enough of my fellow YouTube sisters has done it to get the point across. It's 2018. Enough is enough. However, and that's what I want to say, guys. I want you to do me a favor. I want everyone to go take a walk in Sephora. You know, and go look at Givenchy and go look at... Laura Mercier, and look at their foundation range and see how many colors are there for darker skin. It's not just tart. Just saying, it's not just tart. So let me just go in with, with um, my Laura Mercier powder real quick and just go under and set them. So now that the eyes are finished, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into something else that I'm so excited to try. And that is by Lancome here. And this is their dual finish highlighter. You guys know how I feel about highlighters. As of right now, my favorites do come from um, Ofra. Really love those. But I saw this and I was just like, oh, God, I have it. And uh, the packaging, can we, can we stop and look at packaging? How luxurious, don't you just feel like this comes out of like somebody's really expensive pocketbook? Yes, Scott. Open it up, it comes with a beautiful mirror. And this is the shade, and isn't she beauty? Ooh, isn't she? <gasps> oh, that feels nice. Look at her. And I apply my highlighter with my Morphe M501 brush. Here we go. Oh, it just looks so smooth. It's clearly buildable, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. I also like to go right above the highest part of my arch of my brows, right up in that area. It's a very um, event, like a daytime event friendly type highlighter. Like if I'm trying to hurt someone's feelings, I'm not gonna grab this highlighter, I'm gonna grab something else that adds more shine, like I'm trying to talk to somebody in space. But if I'm just trying to be sophisticated and that's pretty. That is just a, it's just a pretty highlighter. It is definitely just a pretty highlighter. Beautiful highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna lighten up my inner tear dust because you know that's what we do. And I will just go ahead and finish using this. Gorge. That's a hit. I'm gonna go in with my Ofra lip liner in chestnut. And then I picked up uh, two of the lip colors from the um, Fenty collection, Flush Matte Lipsticks. I picked up one in this color, it's called Shorty. And then I picked up this other one, Giselda. But Giselda, guys, if you don't know, for 100 
points. They're giving away as a perk one of her um, new lipsticks in Giselda. And tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen in life. Like, that is so cute. I love it. That is so cute. You can actually get a pretty decent amount, too. So, I was happy to grab this one just because, you know, I have this color in a variety of colors. However, I don't have this formula. So, I'm glad I grabbed that. But today, we're going to be playing with Shodi. See? And it's, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty. So, we're going to go on with that. That formula is fantastic. And I really like this color too. All day color intensity, weightless matte finish. Okay. Um, I guess it has, to me it's not really a matte finish. I mean, we've all had some really matte lipsticks. This is not giving me matte matte. This is giving me like somewhere in the middle. You know, I was scrolling around in Tarjay and I walked into the Milani Make It Dewy skin. Um setting spray so we're gonna try that today oh that mist is nice at first I didn't think anything came out that's how gentle this this oh you can mess around and do too much because it, the mist is so so gentle like okay stop oh that's beautiful I love it okay let me do my hair and get dressed. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am all done and loving my finished look. Let's go back and talk about a few of the things that we tried today. The first thing is the foundation. This is Dinar's new natural radiance, whatever it's called, foundation in D2. I have to say I'm not hating it, but I'm not quite sure if I'm in love with it. It's, it's just nice. I have to play with it a little bit more. Stay tuned for that. Right now I'm kind of just, what I would say about the foundation real quick guys, is that the foundation on my skin actually looks kind of nice. I have to say this, the foundation itself looks nice. I do feel like it's emphasizing some of the lines on my forehead a little bit more than others do. And the parentheses is just ridiculous. I mean like, like that's a line. That's a straight line on my face. It's nice. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's nice. Um, right after that, the concealer though. Oh! I'm in love with this concealer. I am in love with this concealer. Oh, the YSL All Hours Concealer. This color is in six something. It's in six mocha. Such a good concealer for so many different reasons. For so many different reasons. I love how light it is. It's so light, yet full coverage concealer that blended out so beautifully I, I am I am here for it I I, I love <laughs> I love you um and I don't know how new it is but it's new for me the dual finish highlighter gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so this is definitely a yes how well it blends into my skin without emphasizing any texture on my skin a lot of times I do have some highlighters that when you apply it it emphasizes any texture on your skin this does not do that new um, Fenty uh, lick uh, matte lipsticks and the color shorty it's really nice as you can see I do have it on it's really really nice I will wear this with probably more of a neutral look on my eyes but I really did like it the formula is quite nice for it to be a matte lipstick is very calming on the lips. My lips doesn't feel dry at all, which is why I said I don't know how matte matte it is, but I feel like it's more of like a satin matte or something because it's definitely, it has moisturized my lips more than this expensive ass crap. I consider it crap now, the Bite Beauty Lip Agave Mask. I, I, I think it's crap. That's just my personal base. It's my personal opinion that thing cost $26. This lipstick gave me more moisture than that. Um, what else is new? This, ooh, definitely like this spray because it's such lightweight. I love the way it sprays, guys. Like the mist is just, re like I don't feel that. 
You know how sometimes it's like hitting your face and you hurting and your eye bleeding and then you gotta go to the hospital and explain that you got eye damage, you got punched in the eye from your setting spray? Some sprays do that. This, the mist is just ridiculous. It's, it's just, oh, I love it, but it's not too dewy. You know Guys, how thank like you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done also, what am I saying? Get your life together. If you haven't done so already, you already know what to do. Rate, comment, and subscribe. You definitely want to subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl. She'll under one and be sure to click that ling 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 right next to that so you'll never miss another video with your said same girl. She'll under one. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the very next video. I hope you'll enjoy these type of videos because I actually have fun. Let me know if this is your type of zhuzh and we can keep it going like this because I had a great time recording this video today. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.